Hello again, this is Jamie Reese with Windermere showing you video four for the market analysis charting tool. And this time we're going to focus on trend lines, how to make the days on market and market scatter um, look the best. So we've already imported all of our data. We're leaving off where uh, video three uh, took us. And at this point we have uh, a days on market report here that has appropriate scaling. So we've removed a lot of the outliers here and we now can put in our trend lines. In this case, you've got the four major trend line methods that, that Excel has to offer. Um, we've automatically programmed them in. You just need to select from A, B, C, or D. A lot of this is about aesthetics. What, what do you think looks best for this charting method uh, and will represent the market the best? If you don't like the, uh, the trend line that you have, you can easily delete the trend line and go in within Excel, and this will work both within uh, Excel 2007 and 2010. They'll probably look slightly different. But if you go into the, to the insert area and you click on shapes, you can either use a straight line if you want to use that to provide your perspective on what that trend line should be and draw a trend line over. Now to kind of keep it fitting with the, uh, the overall format of the chart, I, su I suggest that you put it uh, the color of the trend line is green and you perhaps make it a dashed line there and you might even if you want it to show up a little bit heavier you might even select a heavier weight for the line so it's a little bit easier for clients to see. Now if you find that a, a standard straight line isn't going to work for you if you're trying to do custom you can also go back into insert here and you can click on shapes and rather than using the straight line shape you can use an arc or I actually like to use this curve, what kind of looks like a, a sine curve there. You can click on that, and what this allows you to do is if you start at the left, then you say, well, I want my curve to kind of look about like this, so I want it to start at about 520,000. You can then start to just stretch out a little bit here and click the points where you want the, the line to start curving. And in this case, if you want to make it kind of a compound curve, you can easily do that and just keep stretching until you have the curve that you like. And at the, when you're finished with your curve, you double click. And again, I would encourage you to, to modify it. Uh, you know, turn it green so that it stays with the solds uh, because that is what you're trying to, to represent there. Put dashes in and maybe even uh, you know, beef up the weight so it's a little bit easier to see. And if you don't like the, the overall nature of your curve, just a quick little hint here in Excel, you can go in and right click and edit, you know, right click on the line and edit points and you can drag that curve around so you can make it look just about as wild or as tame as you'd like it to be. For me, I kind of like sticking with the, with the typical data so I'm going to select this and delete it and then just click on trend A or trend B and that's going to give me what give me the trend that I like there. Now if we go to market scatter, same thing holds true. You can do the same trend A, trend B, trend C, trend D, and each of them will look a little bit different. You use the one, whichever one looks best for you given the market conditions. And this is again where you can, you know, if you've got a home that's 23 or let's say we've got 2600 square foot home here, we can just drag the hash mark here. Now, an important lesson with Excel, if you want your line to go straight up or straight sideways, so you know, straight up and down, if you drag it around here and you hold down the shift key, it'll make it go straight up and straight down. Likewise, if you want to um, do the same so it's, it's perfectly horizontal as well, um, you can drag it over here. When you're dragging this around, when you drag it out here, you can hold it, hold the shift key down, and that'll make a perfectly horizontal line and give you a nice looking hash mark. So there you go. There is the uh, primer on how to modify trend lines within the tool and how to modify the hash marks to best represent your data. Uh, please visit macharts.com with any questions and for more uh, information on how, on how best to use this tool. Thanks for watching. Take care.